Beric and Tormund arrive at last half, accompanied by a handful of surviving Brotherhood, Night's Watch, and Free Folk forces. Investigating the castle, they find signs of a massacre but no corpses. Hearing a strange noise, they prepare to attack, but stop after seeing men of the Night's Watch led by Edison Tollett. The group then investigates the hearth itself, discovering the body of Ned Umber pinned to a wall and surrounded by limbs arranged in a spiral pattern, a message from the Night King. Beric, Ed and Tormund then discuss their next move, agreeing that if they combine horses, they can reach Winterfell in time. Suddenly, Ned comes back as a white, but Beric quickly ignites him with his flaming sword, setting the spiral on fire. Beric and his companions reach Winterfell before the army of the dead and inform Jon that Night King will arrive before dawn. Beric is later present for the War Council meeting. The night before the battle, Beric finds Sandor Clegane and Arya Stark drinking on the battlements of Winterfell. He apologizes to Arya for the circumstances under which they last met, when he sold Gendry to Melisandre. He tries to speak about the Lord of Light, but Sandor quickly threatens him to stop. Arya then leaves as Beric reaches for a drink. During the battle, Beric side by side with the Hound, fighting inside the walls of Winterfell. Beric looks back to see Sandor Clegane, shell-shocked in a similar way to how he was at the Battle of the Blackwater. Beric tries to convince him to keep fighting but Sandor retorts, telling him that there's no hope for the living. Beric catches a glimpse of Arya in terror, being swarmed by whites. Beric beckons Sandor to look to Arya, who is struggling to survive, which gives Sandor the drive to attempt Arya's rescue. Beric follows. As Beric and Sandor walk through the hallways of Winterfell, they see the door before of them fling open with Arya, knocked onto the floor, being overrun by whites. Beric throws his flaming sword at the one on top of Arya and kills it, saving her, but is unable to reclaim it due to the overwhelming surge of whites. As more and more whites arrive, Beric tries to hold them off from Arya and Sandor, but is stabbed to an excessive degree. He manages to follow Arya and Sandor to safety through the door into the Great Hall, but ultimately dies for the final time, as Melisandre, who has taken shelter in the hall, states that he fulfilled his purpose to Arlor, the Lord of Light, which was to save Arya. He was shown to be instrumental in the defeat of the Army of the Dead, his sacrifice allowing Arya to kill the Night King, and subsequently the remaining White Walkers and Whites, abruptly ending the Great War. Beric's body is later reclaimed and placed into one of the many funeral pyres for those who fell fighting the Whites. After John finishes his eulogy, Arya lights the pyre where Beric was placed. 